Welcome to the series of how did they make this render. Today we are going to analyze this project made by Designo Studio, a studio from Valencia that is dedicated exclusively to architectural visualization, collaborating with interior designers and architects from Spain and part of Europe. To create these images, I mainly use Traces Max, Corona Render, and Photoshop. Before starting with the analysis, I remind you that I have created an interview form to analyze with you your projects and publish them in the channel. To participate, I think the best way is to tag me or mention me in your projects on Instagram. That way I can see them and the ones I choose I can contact you and send you the form. I think it's a good way to learn from you and at the same time advertise your projects. Before starting a project, it is important to be inspired, as inspiration gives you a clear vision of what you want to achieve and helps you find new ideas and solutions. For this project, he looked for references of single-family houses with neutral colors, vegetation and blue pool that would reflect well the warm climate of the area and the good weather. He was inspired by projects of architects from of the area, such as Pereta Arquitectura and Antonio Altariba, by visiting each architect's website and Instagram. He started modeling from the plans received in AutoCAD and modeled everything using 3ds Max. He used the plugins Flower Generator to create tile or slat geometries and Forest Pack to add vegetation to the project. Using plugins makes the creation process more efficient and productive, as they provide additional tools that can save time and effort when performing specific tasks. The user mentions that it is important for him to use layers to keep order in the model and to be able to work more efficiently. Also, he imagines that he is building the building in real life while modeling it, which allows him to enjoy every part of the project. He follows a routine for modeling, starting by drawing the walls, then adding ceilings and floors, doors, windows and baseboards, fixed lighting, kitchen and furniture, the decoration of each room, and finally the vegetation and surroundings. Some models were modeled in 3ds Max, which ordered them from an external collaborator, and others were downloaded from furniture houses of different brands, such as Ketal, Floss and Casina, which provide the model. This means that these furniture brands can be used to obtain dress models with ease. He uses a crown camera with an aperture between 108 and 22 mm for this type of image, as he needed to cover a lot of ground. He uses the camera in automatic mode and usually has the clipping activated to be able to place himself behind the elements that obstruct the view and thus prevent them from appearing in the image. Clipping is the minimum and maximum distance from the camera to which objects in the scene can be seen. This is useful for adjusting the area of the scene shown in the camera view. As for the lighting, the intention was to emulate the weather of the area, in this case a winter feel on the coast with sharp shadows. The scene was illuminated with Corona Sana, which is the light that simulates the sun, and Corona Sky, which is a... Use this combination to be able to control well the tilt of the sun and how it reacts to the sky. As a background, he uses an HDRI from HD Collective. Always rely on them, as they come very clean and help a lot to complement the background of the image. Try to always keep the reference you are using in sight, as it is very easy to get lost as you try out the tilt of the sun and the tones. It is important to respect the burns in white facades and that the materials react well to the light because without this the facades are completely flat and it is not realistic. The materials used are a mixture of our own materials and materials from Quixel Megascans. They are of great help as a base for any scene. Afterwards it is interesting to give a review to improve each material depending on the situation. Always keep track of glossiness, bump and displacement. As we see in the image, with a black and white map and an output, I control the contrast to squeeze the details and with a bump or normal map to control the reliefs of each material. It is difficult to find a fabric material of a certain color. So I chose to use a fabric map from the Corona bookstore and control the color with a base texture of any kind. In this case it is a normal fabric, but for leathers, velvet, etc., it would be a different setting. He always has his personal library ready to start lighting and see how the scene reacts. But in each project, he modifies these materials according to what the client needs. But it helps a lot to have a library ready to face the times that sometimes are very short. The vegetation models are downloaded from Max3 and Megascans. He used Forest Pack for the vegetation and trees and Corona Skater for the grass. He always creates a skater for each zone in order to optimize the speed of the scene, as it is important to remove computational load from the render engine and hide the ones that are not being worked on at that moment. It is also very important to create proxies, as much in vegetation as in normal modeling, since a scene very loaded with polygons suffers a lot for the fluidity of the viewport. 
When finishing the rendering, he used Corona Render with a noise of 4% for a resolution of 4000 pixels. He activated some element renders such as Direct, Reflection and Refraction for post-production. Depending on the scene, he uses a lute or adjustments to the curve or mixes them according to what the image conveys to him. The lute is from Collective and works very well. The post-production was done in Photoshop. In addition to the render elements already mentioned, he always adjusts a bit with Camera Raw to give it a touch more contrast and play with tones. He didn't add any elements in post-production. Everything is worked in 3D. We leave you with the final images, but first, if you found the video interesting, please like and subscribe to analyze more projects.